And if you soft, this ain't the, you want to get out now. This is where you like, I quit. But if you're willing to say, I'm not going to quit, I guarantee you whatever success you want to have, you're going to have it. You will not outgrind me. You won't outgrind me. You can be smarter than me. You won't outgrind me. I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and do videos. I'll do a video at 3 o'clock. I'll do a video at 2 o'clock. I'll do, I'm putting out so much doggone content, they can't keep up. They smarter than me. They better than me. I, I admit, I got a GED. I ain't the smartest person in the world. But I get up and do this for Didi. I do this every day for Didi because of what Didi did for me. I do this for my kids. My daddy wasn't there. I do this for my family. You can't stop me. The reason why some of you can be stopped is you're doing it for yourself. And guess what happens when you get tired? When you grinding, and you, when, grind, when you grinding, grinding hurts. Grinding is a sacrifice. Grinding cough. When you're grinding and your body tell you you hurt, when you're doing it for you, you stop. You never, you never prepared. You never, you never prepared for worst case scenario. And the reason why ET is standing here, because I'm prepared for it. If you know anything about me, I still lay on floors. I still eat chips off the floor. I still do some stuff that to most people is crazy. Like ET, why would you do that? Because I'm always prepared that we may not live in that house one day. One day something might happen and we might have to go back to that. And if I have to go back to that, it's not going to break me. The thing we covered the most, that for a diamond to be produced, it must first go through extreme heat. Extreme heat. Forgiving people in silence and never speaking to them again is a form of self-care. Embrace judgment. No matter your outcome, you'll always be judged. So don't live to impress others. Live to impress yourself. While we wait for life, life passes. Seneca. A friend to all is a friend to none. There is no ending to true love. Leadership is about setting the example. Jocko Willink. On Providence. When you make any charge against Providence, consider and you will learn that the thing has happened according to reason. Yes, but the unjust man has the advantage. In what? In money. Yes, for he is superior to you in this, that he flatters, is free from shame, and is watchful. What is the wonder? But see if he has the advantage over you in being faithful, in being modest, for you will not find it to be so. But wherein you are superior, there you will find that you have the advantage. And I once said to a man who was vexed because Philostorgus was fortunate, would you choose to lie with Sura? May it never happen, he replied, that this day should come. Why then are you vexed if he receives something in return for that which he sells? Or how can you consider him happy who acquires those things by such means as you abominate? Or what wrong does providence if he gives the better things to the better men? Is it not better to be modest than to be rich? He admitted this. Why are you vexed then, man, when you possess the better thing? Remember then always and have in readiness the truth that this is a law of nature, that the superior has an advantage over the inferior in that in which he is superior, and you will never be vexed. But my wife treats me badly. Well, if any man asks you what this is, say, my wife treats me badly. Is there then... Nothing more. Nothing. My father gives me nothing. But to say that this is an evil is something which must be added to it externally, and falsely added. 
For this reason we must not get rid of poverty, but of the opinion about poverty, and then we shall be happy. It's between working hands and praying lips. I love what Mary McLeod Bethune said. Pray as if everything depends upon God, and work as if everything depends upon you. And so when you look at yourself, look at your goals and dreams, you want to do that which comes naturally to you, something that you can do with your eyes closed. I love helping people. That's what I do. I love making you feel good. I love inspiring you. Challenge yourself. Let me share something with you. You now need it more than ever before because there are people going through tough times. We were poor, but we didn't know it. We didn't know it. Now, why do I say that you have greatness in you? Life is about evolving. See, we've been trained to do something that we were not meant to be. We've been trained for the mindset of a job, the journey of the broke. And when you retire, you retire on 40%, which wasn't enough in the first place. You are supposed to evolve. That's what life is about, evolving. I was a disc jockey. I was evolving. And there I am with my reason. What's your reasons? You got to have something that becomes your rod and staff to comfort you when the tough times come. And they're going to come. And every time life slapped me down, I tried to land on my back because I knew if I could look up, I can get up. And when I looked up, I saw a vision of my mother and I said, Mama, I'm getting back up. Mama, you will not go to a nursing home. Mama, I will take care of you. And that got me up off the canvas of life. What's your why? What is it that motivates and inspire you? If you know the why for living, you can endure almost. Why should you feel anger at the world as if the world would notice? There are only two paths you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. I have never been hurt by what I have not said. Calvin Coolidge Learn to wing it. What God doesn't give to you, you have to go and get for yourself. Take Souls, David Goggins In the mind that is once truly disciplined and purged, thou canst not find anything either foul or impure, or as it were fested, nothing that is either servile or affected, no partial tie, no malicious averseness, nothing obnoxious, nothing concealed. The life of such an one, death can never surprise as imperfect, as of an actor that should die before he had ended or the play itself were at an end, a man might speak. To prepare yourself and do the best you can, take your best shot and let the chips fall where they may. And so as you begin to look at people become afraid of success because they feel they're not good enough, they can't handle it, the responsibility is too big, I've been there. And when you feel that way, you begin to unconsciously work against yourself to make sure that you don't get it. You begin to sabotage your own potential in a variety of ways through procrastinating, through not taking care of business, not giving reports on time, not spending your time wisely, squandering your time looking at a lot of idle television or spend all your time lamenting and complaining about how bad things are, using your energy negatively rather than positively, complaining rather than producing. That's what we do when we're afraid of really making it. And when you're afraid of the unknown, when you're afraid to take that leap, when you're afraid to venture out there, that's a real challenge. You're going to die. Excuse me? You're going to die. In case you didn't understand that, you can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting. 
like this is your last day on the planet. See, if we decide that we don't need a pronouncement from some physician to say we have six months to a year to live in order to really begin to appreciate the beauty of life, in order to really to make some hard decisions in life.